Cooper on Beach Resort. How the hell does something like that just go away? There appeared to be some kind of cow patty explosion in here. <laughs> so tell us more about this fire dancer. Welcome to Acadian. We're a cruising couple traveling as far as possible, seeking out adventure and documenting as we go. Show your support by giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. This week on Acadian, we explore all the abandoned properties around Luperon, hike the rugged coastline to the blowholes, and meet some cruisers with impressive fire dancing skills. So Luperon, or Porta Plata, has quite a few really big abandoned resorts. This was the old Luperon Marina back in the day. It's been closed for about 10 years now. Nature has already begun to take it back. It had multiple swimming pools, barbecue, cookout area, uh, and just really great views of the harbor. Apparently, it was a, quite a very fancy place back in the day. People use it for yoga and stuff three times a week, and then they've had a party up there with like a fire dancer. Yeah, oh, we did have a fire dancer. So tell us more about this fire dancer. That's all I really have to say. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, so there were some cruisers passing through. And uh, one of the guys had a bunch of fire toys, is what he called it, and also some kerosene. And he'd take a big swig of kerosene, not swallow it, and then spit it, and as he spit it everywhere, he would light it on fire. Really cool. I don't think I'd be putting a big swig of kerosene in my mouth, but... He seemed to be okay with it. Fun to watch. <laughs> so here we are at the old Luperon Beach Resort. This was a timeshare facility that had employed up to 1,400 locals back in the day. It was about 10 years ago when it shut down. Uh, dude, check it out what it looked like when it was when it was in service. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. How the hell does something like that just go away? It's reported that the previous owners had been charged with money laundering and they just one day picked up all their stuff and left the country. The Luperon Beach Resort is just one of a few properties in this area with the same story, left to rot away for Mother Nature to take over. It's crazy to think these places were once lucrative and thriving businesses. What's up, dude? You stuck? Hey. You cutie. You stuck? Wow. Oh. You alright? Look his little bitty horns. You stuck? Alright, there you go. Oh. Okay, you're not stuck no more. You're welcome. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> you're so cute, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you have a good day. Enjoy yourself. The next morning, we check out the cliffs across the bay in search of blowholes and to explore some abandoned Oceanside estates. The cow is coming here, the old cow patty. Ah, oh, it smells great in here. <laughs> I'm sure what that was supposed to be. Yeah, somebody had a fire in here. Yeah, whatever happened here in Puerto Plata, there is just so much abandoned real estate. The big resort across the other side, uh, there's a, the marine, old marina, which was really, really nice place. And then when you come across the Bay Area, you have all these homes, all these ocean estates is what they called them. And I mean, the construction isn't bad. It's all cinder block and concrete construction, really solid construction. 
But for whatever reason, all this stuff just got abandoned. I guess the money dried up or something, you know? There appeared to be some kind of cow patty explosion in here. <laughs> <laughs> there is shit all over the walls, dude. Oh. What the hell? Oh, bats. 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 Check them. The bat. Right there. Oh, Bill. Bats. Yeah, he's, he's checking us out. What's up, dude? Yeah, look, there's another bat over here. Hanging. Right there. There's guana. You can smell it. What's up, dude? What you doing? Where are you going? No, he ain't gonna bite you. Okay, let's keep going. We leave the ocean estate and find a small remote beach tucked into the cliffs. Fish swimming around down there. It really is beautiful. Local fishermen passing by. This guy was naked. They're divers, right? In the center of his boat is like a canvas covering something as big. That's a dive compressor. Uh, it's a hose connected to just a regular air compressor. And uh, they dive down and spearfish. What do you think of the Dominican Republic, babe? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a bad place to spend hurricane season. No, it is a beautiful place. No, it's because it's so pretty. It's so bright wood. Yeah, you see them? They're everywhere. hike down the trail in search of these elusive blowholes but first we come across some pretty cool looking caves that we had to check out and it appears somebody may be living in this cave yeah somebody's definitely camped out here there's like clothes fire a spot where you can see they were eating some food all right this is somebody's house let's not uh not gonna trespass somebody's property. Somebody's been living in that, uh, that cave. Yeah, check it out. Here's another spot somebody's been been hanging out at. While exploring the caves, it started to feel like we were trespassing on someone's campsite. So we move on to the coast and find the first blowhole. Look at my shirt. The hike on this cliff was absolutely gorgeous. We went during low tide, so the blowholes weren't very dramatic, but we'll be back. Walking home. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, man, that smells fishy. <laughs> we get back to the beach with the dinghy high and dry. We had to get our feet wet, but with a little effort, we made it out just fine. Thank you. 